Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to each and every one of you out there who is watching this. I know we're really far gone into the new year but because this is my first video that I've made or put together in this new year 2018 it makes sense to start with that greeting. Yes. <laughs> Moving on swiftly for today's video I want to show or share with you the bits that I've picked up from the sale shopping that I've done this festive period or over the holidays, whatever you want to call it. They're mainly from Zara and Cos. It just happened that way. So these are a few bits that I've picked up in dribs and drabs. I didn't actually buy them all at one go. For whatever reason, I buy one or two items, then I go back onto the website and then I grab some more. And also, especially with Zara and actually most websites, that they do tend to have further reductions. So I tend to grab the things I really want earlier on and then for the ones I'm just, you know, yes, a possibility, my boy, I will um, go back later on and see if there is a further re reduction on the price and if there is, then I will grab it. So as it happens, there are a few more bits that I am yet to receive and hopefully when that comes through, I will share with you. I know you guys have requested a lookbook and I am going to get onto that as soon as I promise. These items I'm going to show you will be featured in my next lookbook for sure. So let me stop talking and get right into it. Yes. Okay, so the first item that I have to show you is this knitwear that I picked up from Zara and it is a turtleneck or um, polo neck depending on where or country you're from I think over here we say polo neck we say turtleneck it's a bit of both I think Americans use turtleneck it is navy because I love navy and literally my wardrobe features a hell of a lot of navy bits it's quite long I've tried it on it's quite long and quite big I, I feel like I could almost wear it as a really, really short dress. We'll obviously see some shorts underneath, but it is quite oversized and it only really came in one sizing, which is a medium, as in they don't have a small or an extra large. It just has the one sizing of a medium. So it's a one size fits all, yeah. So it explains why it's quite huge. This is one that I'm not 100% like certain on, so I may return it but we shall see. I may not change my mind. So yes, this is the first item for you, if you can see that. And this is the knit on. It's quite chunky, I love it. So yes, this is it. <laughs> the next item is once again, another navy piece. I do love me some navy. I really do, honestly, I can't help it. So, these are some trousers that I picked up from COS. I would say these are slim fit trousers. I do love COS and I love their color palette and I love their shapes and they feature a lot of navy pieces every year. So it's another reason to be drawn to them. And on top of that, the quality of their clothing is amazing. I have a COS coat that I bought three years ago that still looks near enough brand new. It's been amazing. So much so that I wanna go out and buy some more <laughs> in different colors. But back to these trousers, I picked up, what size did I pick up? I picked up a Euro 34 and unfortunately it is a little bit big. So I do feel like I need to take it in. And so I will be taking this to a dry cleaners to take in. But um, essentially it's just some plain navy trousers that are going to be ideal for work. This is quite big, very big. So it definitely needs taken in. And then when it looks like this, I think it's a little bit better, you know? It's a much better fit. The next piece I'm about to show you is also a pair of trousers, but these are a lot more vibrant in colors and print. So this is it. <laughs> These are like wide leg trousers and um, I'm going to wear them high-waisted because I think I like the way it looks on when it's high-waisted. This, I got a extra small and it fits pretty well, although it could be a bit more fitted. I just like my clothes to be as fitted as possible, like I just do. So um, we'll see. I don't need to take it in, but I may take it in. I think they released this for the summer and it was really popular and it had a matching kimono. They didn't have the kimono on sale or even available to buy, but had they, I may have bought it. So I just got these. And because it's not overly bright, 
I feel like I could get away with wearing it in winter as well as in the summer and I plan to wear it in the winter and I will definitely be featuring this in my next lookbook that's for sure so the Zara pair are a lot better in terms of the fit but me being me I do like things to be a little bit more fitted so it does fit but I think there's quite a bit of room here and so if I could just take it in some more just a little bit you know it would be even better I think and the next product I have to show you is also a pair of trousers and these ones are from COS they are satin well it's a satin finish as you can see again it is wide leg and again these do not fit me well at all it is a 34 but it's really quite wide and i would prefer to wear this as a high waist rather than on my hips i think i could get away with wearing it on my hips but it really would be dragging on the floor because it is quite long i don't really like for my clothes to drag on the floor this i would definitely be taking to dry cleaners to have him or her take it in some more so it can be more fitted on my waist I will show you guys so you know exactly what I'm talking about this is what I mean by it is quite big and this is it even sitting let's say on my hips maybe or just above my hips slightly it's still quite big so I'm thinking get it someone to take it in and so it can be a bit more fitted a bit more high-waisted and I think I would prefer it like this. Next up, I have three pairs of shoes that I picked up from the Zara sale. And these shoes are not really going to be, should I say, winter appropriate necessarily. But I bought them because hell, summer is coming. And so they will come in handy. And so I might as well get them whilst they're super, super like cheap. So the first pair that I'm going to show you are these kitten heels and I have to say that I actually bought these pair earlier on in the year I think during the summertime and I got a size 6 euro 39 that's my usual size but it was quite tight and then on top of that when I received it I wasn't aware that the material composition was actually fabric and so I was a bit disappointed because for 50 pounds I expect it to at least be like a cheap form of leather or something. I am not paying 50 pounds for some fabric, no. So they were reduced to 20 pounds and I thought, you know what, why not? It will come in handy during the spring summer season. I, for the longest time, could not ever see myself wearing kitten heels, but these will be great for running around in if you're on your feet all day. And this time round, I picked up a size seven and it fits a lot better than the size six did. So yes, this is the first pair of shoes that I picked up from the Zara sale. The next pair that I picked up are these flat leather pointed shoes. I couldn't wait to wear these when I got them and so I've already worn these out. And they are comfortable, I will say. The only thing is, these shoes were designed to give you the option of wearing them with an open back or should I say like a mule, flat mule shoe. Well, the only thing I don't like about this shoe is that when I am wearing it, often I find that the back is coming off or slipping and so then yeah I have to stop and pull it back up so it's more fitted on my feet. I don't really like that about this shoe. It's leather and it was I think £30 so it will make for really good commuting shoes into work. So yes this is the second pair of shoes that I picked up from the Zara sale. The last and final item that I have to show you is um, these, <laughs> these mules. These are obviously for the summer season. <laughs> I will most definitely not be wearing this in winter. These are real leather as well. And I remember seeing them last summer and thinking, I want these. But then I got another pair of sling back flat Zara shoes, but I always wanted these. And voila, it went on sale. And so it was my chance to grab it and plan ahead <laughs> for summer, you know? And that's it, guys. These are all the bits that I've picked up from the sale so far. I didn't go too crazy. These days, I tend not to go crazy or overboard with the sales. I'm not going to just buy you know, items because it's on sale. That's how they get you. I think I'm a lot better these days. I've only really bought things that I really, really, really wanted. And I do have a few more 
pieces coming through so when those comes through I will share them with you in the meantime I hope you enjoyed watching this video I will link all the items that I've bought to the website and hopefully they are still stocked so you can grab them if you wish if you have any questions about anything leave them below I will get back to you as soon as possible and as always thank you for watching I hope you are subscribed and if you aren't make sure you do subscribe and I will see you guys later bye